Hey guys, got another redstone tutorial for today as promised. Uh, this is going to be a T flip flop, so you can add a button to your 2x2 two two piston door that we did last time. For those of you who haven't seen that video, you should go back and watch it, but just for now, this is pretty much what we did. So it's 2x2, two two, and all we, we just had it hooked up to a switch. But if you want to use a button like this one, You need to use a T flip flop, so that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so for this example, I just built this over here. Same as yesterday. Ignore this stuff. If I were to put a switch over here, uh, the doors would open just like regular, so I'm gonna just do that. So that's just what we did yesterday. But today, we're going to build a T flip flop so we can use a button. Alright, so I decided this is where I want to put my button at on the other side. So I'll just do that now. And then I just have redstone going to that. And then all you need to do is get two pistons, wh whichever kind, sticky or regular. Then in... <coughs> then you need to Make sure these are two apart, facing each other. Make a hole that goes one down, and then put a redstone torch in that. Then just take a block and put it there, and then two just like that. Then you need to put a redstone torch on each side, and link those together with redstone dust. Now we're going to take the, the button side, and just put redstone up to here, and then this block right before needs to be a repeater. Now, for the door power, we're just going to take the redstone and bring it around to this other block. This side has the redstone torch in it, so when the block is over the redstone torch, it's powering the block, which will power the redstone. And apparently we didn't get enough power, but that's okay. We can just add a repeater in there, and there you go. So now, this should work. You can just fill that in, push the button, and that's it. Another thing that's really cool about using um, the T flip-flop is that you can put a button on the inside and the outside of the door so you can actually close it as well. So if we wanted to, Let's see if I can do this just right now. That's the wrong spot. That's not going to work, is it? Um, maybe here. That should do it. Since this is the same redstone that other button is attached to, we can hook up another button to that. And close it from the inside. And you can do that with as many buttons as you want to. So if you want to be able to open and close it from, like, outside your house, you could do that. Or, you know, whatever you want to do. So, yeah. Um, that's how you make a T-flip-flop and hook it up to a door. And then there's a lot of other uses you can use a T-flip-flop for as well. Um, you can pretty much just use your imagination. Anything you want to use a button for instead of a lever, that's where you would use a T-flip-flop. Thanks for watching. You just got fucking paid!